Here's the inclusion-exclusion formula. Now, note that the properties are, are going to be, there's not n properties, now there's going to be m properties. And this is just a notational uh, thing because we went from n to m. If we had gone from m to n, there would have been n properties. All right, so what is the property? You have functions. You have functions from the n element set to the m element set. Those are the, pro those are the that's your universe. And what are your properties? Your property is that the element i is not, it, it, it sat, if it satisfies the property, then it means i is not in the domain. Now, if you'll think back to derangements, we've logically inverted what it means to satisfy a property. The original one was in terms of fixing element i, and now element i is not in the domain. But that's exactly what we want. Because when you say that a function satisfies none of the properties, it means that every integer in 1 to, to m is in the range. That's what we want. So you're summing over the subsets of 1 to m. Minus 1 to the k times the binomial coefficient cmk, and that binomial coefficient there is simply counting the number of terms at any one level. And what are those terms? Those terms come in the form m minus k to the n. And let's make sure that we're together on why that's the term. So here is your small set. This is 1 to m. And here's your big set, 1 to n. And we're going to map this set down to that one, but you've got to use up all of these. So what are we going to do? We're going to take a set, a subset, and here's your subset, and you're going to say that a function satisfies those properties when those elements are not in the domain. So how many functions satisfy all those properties? Well, you, what you're going to do is map all these guys down onto these. And if the cardinality of S is K, how many elements are in here? Well, M minus K. And so now we go back to lecture two in this course. How many functions from an n element set to a set of this size? And the answer is m minus k to the n. So the number of such functions is m minus k to the nth power. And now we go back to the main slide. And that's exactly what's written. <laughs>